Learning objectives include uh, nucleic acid-based microbial identification. There are various methods available uh, for DNA detection, RNA detection, but we would mention only a few just to give you a flavor. Uh, in these, in serological testing, we used antibodies. In nucleic acid-based detection system, we would use nucleic acids, specific fragments or pieces of DNA that are specific to the organisms. They would act as our probes. And, of course, we would have to label them with some visible uh, dyes, fluorescent dyes or radioisotopes or even enzymes. Three methods, we would mention about three methods that uh, include DNA probes, uh, DNA chip, and PCR. Now, a DNA probe could be used by a method called DNA amplification by biotechnology, methods of tools of biotechnology, where we can insert the gene of interest that is specific to the organisms and can amplify that and later on could be looted or taken out of the plasmid system here from the microorganisms like E. coli, this example. This is a salmonella DNA fragment which was cloned in E. coli and as this E. coli would replicate, it each time it would replicate, the plasmid would also replicate and plasmid even itself can replicate without replicating the, the cell or the microorganism. And at the end, the resultant amplification of this probe uh, would give us lots of DNA that we can later on label with some radioisotope, for example. And that could be used for identification of salmonella from a sample. Let's say this is a plate that contains hundreds of different colonies that we isolated from uh, the sample. This could be a mixture of uh, microorganisms. Different species or sample contain different contaminants also, along with the causative agent of a disease. What we can do is we can detect specific DNA, this DNA, presence of this DNA in these colonies. As you know, that this DNA is specific to salmonella only. So what we would do is transfer those colonies onto the filter, nitrocellulose filter, as we, we've seen that filter was used in Western blotting. So this technique is also called blotting. But here we are blotting DNA, not the proteins. So that is the only difference. So because it is DNA, we know it's a double standard. So after transferring the DNA onto the filter membrane, we would uh, lyse the cells, releasing the DNA in such a way that released DNA sticks onto the membrane where the colony was. So leaving an impression of the DNA in the form of a colony. And then we would give a treatment um, we would also put this filter into a heated compartment. There's an oven called a hybridization oven where we increase the temperature and also we put some chemicals in order to denature the double standard DNA into single standard DNA. And then we would put our probe also. And because our probe, if the organisms there or the colonies are specific to salmonella, the, our probe, which we would add here, this probe here, if salmonella colonies are there, that probe would bind to the specific DNA fragment there. And because this probe either has been radio labeled uh, with a radioisotope or it could be a fluorescent dye, we can detect the, the color in these colonies. As you can see, this one, two, three, and four, five. These five colonies are positive with respect to salmonella DNA. So, this is another way of identification of, of, a, of an unknown bacterium in the sample. Another technique is called DNA chip. It is exactly a modification of this system where there is a chip here which contains thousands of synthetic oligonucleotides that are specific to lots of microbes. But these has chambers or wells. You see these teeny tiny spots there? Each spot basically represents one specific DNA fragment that is specific to one organism. So that means if this chip has 20 or 30 or 50 
different DNA fragments that are embedded or attached into different wells, we can detect 50, 30, or 20 different microorganisms at the same time. The procedure is exactly the same. So it is basically DNA-based. So if the DNA fragment is there, our probe would bind to it. Otherwise, it won't bind. And then when it binds, it would give us a color. And that color uh, tells us that the interaction has occurred. We'll talk about PCR in a, in a, a different uh, video, in a different uh, lecture. So in summary, DNA, much like serological testing, could also be used for microbial identifications. And the basis of DNA is basically we target a fragment of DNA which is unique to the organism that is not shared by any other organisms. So that is the key, the, the principle.